start with Alex. We'll start with Dan. Right I'll here. start. Uh, I want to congratulate the Houston Astros, Mr. Crane, Dusty, and the group for an amazing series. You know, um, the American League is well represented in the World Series. That's a, a great team. They have a great program. They're doing an outstanding job, and they deserve to be in the in the World Series. With that, thanks, Alex. Um, Alex, just how tough was uh, the last couple of games, and, and what did you tell your team uh, after the series? I told them how proud I am. You know, um, it's, a, it's an amazing group. It's a group that we will always remember. Um, you know, in the off season, trying to recruit players and try to buy into, into the concept that we were going to be good, it was hard. But uh, at the end of the day, we did an amazing job to have that meeting. You know, uh, not too many teams can say that they're in the in the league championship series and. I know it doesn't sound great, but you know, have that meeting is it means something, right? And uh, we did an amazing job throughout the season. Uh, we just got beat at the end, but uh, when we look back and everything that we went through, and you know, um, the thoughts of this team, you know, early in the season, uh, it's it just amazing. You know, it, it was a great year. Obviously, very disappointed that we didn't win this series, but we're gonna get, we're gonna look back and we're gonna be very proud. Of, uh, of the group, the organization, and everybody that, you know, had to be part of this operation on a daily basis. Go Sean in the third row. Alex, when you look back at the 25 runs scored in the first three games and just three in the last three, what happened there? Is it Suri or Siri? What, what, what does Stromy call it? I don't even know what he called it. Sisu, that one. Yeah, Sisu. Yeah, I guess that. They, they, they made adjustments. They did, and uh, you know, their catcher, he's, he's, he's really good. He's really good, and uh, you know, um, he did it last year. Um, he's done it previous years. He, he, he gets out of his script, and that's something that uh, is, is very impressive, you know? Uh, obviously, teams pitch to the blue and the red, whatever, you know, they pitch to the blue, but he gets out of the script when he feels he has to do it. And uh, I think it was halfway through game four, I felt that they were changing. And uh, they used the fastballs in, in different spots, the righties especially, the righties. And um, we just weren't able to catch up with the fastball. Uh, they expanded, obviously, with the sliders, they always do that. But I, I do believe, you know, halfway through that game, we, we weren't able to catch up with the fastball, and that's why we didn't score runs. And if you could talk about the your, your best chance tonight, obviously was the seventh inning and the steal attempt. What would you see there? I just bet on my players. You know, three two count. We put the ball in play against a sinker bowler. We score one, and uh, you know he, he threw like a one four to second, whatever he did. You know, and uh, we didn't make contact, and he got thrown out. But that's one of those that is a three two count with a sinker bowler. We put the, we were we were trying to score one, and uh, we felt that you know we had the right guy to first. Um, the times were one six, one six five, and it's just a matter that their catcher just came out shooting, and he made a perfect throw. About five rows back on the left, Tara. Alex, um, it may be too soon, I don't know, but for you yourself personally, just to reflect on being back, what this season meant to you, what you think it'll mean to you, and how you feel right now personally. Um, I'm, I'm good. Man. I'm, I'm really good. To be honest with you, but you know, obviously disappointed and sad that we didn't pull this off. But um, I've been good for a while. You know, and there were a lot of good things that happened, not only professionally, but um, you know, personally, that I, I was able to to see a lot of people enjoy baseball again, and uh, you know, for for them to to be able to to do that, that that that's what it's all about. You know, uh, you know, my boys. They're four now. Uh, they were the first time here in 17. Uh, they were three months old when we won the World Series. And then they were here the next year, and they were running around, and they were one. And tonight they were in the stands, you know, just watching baseball. And, and to see them do that, it means a lot to me. But, you know, personally, it, it's, it's been great. It's been, it's been amazing. Go to Alex Byer. Um, Alex, what did you see from uh, from Nate tonight? It was he was good. He was good, really good. Good fastball, good split, good breaking ball, in in control. You know, uh, you know that. 
that guy is really good. You know, like he hit the ball in the air and we didn't make a play in left center and they hit the triple down the line, right? Uh, but Nate was outstanding. I mean, we pitched well. We pitched well. The, the way this game goes, you know, we got Adam against Correa, right? We get the ground ball, but it's too slow. You know, we, we were looking for a ground ball there. It's a double play. We get out of the inning. It didn't happen. And then, you know, we made a mistake and they made us pay. And they, they made us pay throughout the, the whole series. I don't know how many runs they scored with two outs. But um, you know, that's what good offensive teams do. And uh, they did an amazing job using the whole field, too. And throughout the season, you had talked about this being a good team that could be very good if, if, if they executed well. Now that it's over, did this surpass what you could have reasonably expected from this season? We had, we had bigger goals. But to be honest, we, um, I'm very proud of the group. I mean, you know, we, we start off well, then we kind of like ran out of gas for a little bit, and then we came back, and then we at one point we were going to play a, a four <laughs> four team playoffs, and you know we win the Walker game, we we win the division series, we just got beat by a great group of guys, a great team. That's a that's a really good team. A couple more for Alex, Ian. Uh, Alex, you just touched on with Ottavino and and uh, Correa, but how much did you consider just? Wanting to get Whitlock into this game just because he was your, your best guy, your best reliever all year. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously we had a lot of a lot of we were trying to get a good run ball double play there, you know. And Adam, he was really good throughout the playoff. He just left a fastball middle middle, you know. Um, we can talk about this guy or that guy, whatever. We had to execute, and uh, you know we got the ground ball we wanted. It just it was slow, and then you know we we left a fastball right in the middle. Yeah. Uh, Steve on your left. Alex, when uh, when Nate got out of that jam in the fourth, what was kind of the feeling in the dugout after that, and did that kind of? Yeah, I mean, uh, that 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 was one of the things we talk about certain guys not beating us, right? And uh, you know, he, he struck out Correa, and then um, he got Tucker out, right? Struck him out, and then you know, Yuli, he can go somewhere else and swing the bat, right? And then he made pitches, and it just felt. Kind of like the same way probably they felt a few days ago when we had chances like that and we didn't score. And uh, but offensively we didn't put too much. We didn't do enough. Um, you know their guy was really good. Velocity was up again. The the breaking ball was outstanding. He, they work ahead today uh, tonight again. And you know we never had a chance. You know offensively it seems like you know he he was just on top of us and we didn't put good swings. A couple of Alex's players are outside, so we'll finish up with. Hi, Alex. Um, you mentioned game four. About halfway through game four, you began to notice that they were making adjustments. Obviously, you have meetings. How intense were those meetings after game four going into five and six? No, we talk about it. We, we talk about what – I mean, the lefty was different. I think the, <clears throat> the biggest change was the righties. They, they, they changed their, their script. And uh, we knew it, and, and today they started off a little bit different, but then they went to, to that what was working. And we, we talk about it sometimes. You know, um, it's not lack of effort. You know, we, we were trying to catch up with the fastball, and there were some counts that, you know, they, they were good for us, but we just didn't do it, you know. And uh, they went to certain spots that they were very tough, and, yeah. I mean, uh, it's one of those. You know, you got to tip your head to them. Alex, thanks for everything. Fun ride. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, I'll talk to you guys. Air Jordan. I like it. I get it. Jordan Alvarez with an ALCS for the ages. 12 for 23, 522 batting average. That's the highest average in ALCS history. And he completes it with the exclamation point. Four for four, two doubles, a triple RBI run scored in the clinching game six. We now send it out to Dusty Baker at the podium. Oh, thank you. We will get started. Who's got the first question? We'll start with Tyler right here on your right, Dusty. Dusty, congratulations. Uh, thank you. Um, what were your emotions as you? I mean, we've, you've talked about how hard it is to get that last out, even yeah. if you're close. You know, we we know your history. What were you thinking? What was going through your mind when that last out was made? Well, you know. Game six has been my nemesis in, in in most playoffs, and that's what I was thinking. I mean, you got to get past your nemesis, you know. Like I was afraid of electricity when I was a kid, so now I'm the owner of an energy company. You know, you try to you try to like 
um, you know, get past things, you know, in your life. And, uh, you know, my dad came home <coughs> and uh, I stuck a, a screwdriver in the wall socket and it was all black around and my dad asked me like, you know, who did it? And like most kids, I'm like, I don't know. And then he says, go get my belt. And then I, it can't, he goes, maybe this will refresh your memory. I said, oh yeah, dad, uh, it's coming back to me. But, you know, that's what was going through, you know, my mind about, I mean, it's a long road. And, uh, you, know, <clears throat> um, you know, when you start in spring training, everybody wants to get to this point. And I've been to this point quite a few times. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I was just grateful and, and thankful you know, I said a prayer to my dad and to Hank Aaron and, you know, Al K. Line and Joe Morgan and all the, you know, Bob Watson and all my partners that are, you know, that are in, you know, in heaven. And I thought about, you know, Jimmy Wynn and, you know, everybody that, especially guys that have been in this organization, you know, some of them didn't get to, you know, to this point. I felt that, <clears throat> you know, they were, you know, they were with us. And, uh, it was hairy for a while. It was one to nothing, and then we made it two to nothing, and that was a big three-run homer. And I always tell these guys, if we can win the seventh, eighth, and ninth, if necessary, then most of the time you're going to get back in games, and, or um, you know, put the game out of reach. And uh, our bullpen did a great job. You know, Young Garcia, who got roughed up the last time, you know, he did a great job, and just you know, <clears throat> you know, these guys felt that we were going to get to this point. And, and it's a matter of belief. Um, you know, before it happens, you have to believe it. And, uh, you know, these guys believe it. Right up front, Brian. <clears throat> Dusty, I saw you embracing your family as you were getting ready yeah. to walk off the field. Can you just take us through what those emotions were like? Well, you know, I, I, I had my son and his best friend, Anush, and my wife. And, you know, um, it's not very often that you're, that you're kid tells you that he's proud of you. You know, most time it's us telling them that we're proud of them. And, uh, um, you know, my emotions were such <clears throat> that, you know, they wanted it, you know, for us, they wanted it for me. And, uh, but, you know, we still got some work to do. And uh, when I look on that board out there every day, there were the X's, you know, I didn't know what that meant out there. I was, I didn't know that meant for the H town. I was trying to figure out somebody couldn't spell. <laughs> and then, you know, somebody told me what that meant. So now we got, you know, four more, you know, to go to complete that. So, um, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a beautiful day. Um, it's hard to anybody tell me there's not a, you know, there's not a God because it put me in this position to be with these, with these guys here. Oh, far back on the right, Christine. <clears throat> Dusty, I know it, it's been, it was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. happened, but can you put into words what it means that you came back last year to have another chance to uh, win a World Series, and now you're you really yeah. close to that? So. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm here, and uh, you know, it was, it was uh, <clears throat> at the beginning of this journey. You know, I didn't even have a job, and I interviewed with the Phillies, and you know, they went with Joe Girardi, and then my son told me in his infinite wisdom, he goes, Dad, maybe. You know, that job wasn't yours, and, and this is a better job. I hate that, uh, you know, A.J. Hinch, you know, lost his job uh, in the manner that he did. But, you know, I inherited a, you know, a good team, much like Sparky Anderson did, uh, inherited the, you know, the big red machine. Uh, but you got to put in the time. You got to put in the effort. You have to get to know, you know, each individual um, player. And, uh you know, what motivates them or sometimes just leave them alone. And uh, uh, it's a lot of work to get to this point. I mean, you know, when the season started in April, I looked up on, you know, I have a, like a schedule on my wall. And boy, from, we started, we were way up here in April and then we came down here to September and now we're into, you know, October. And I'm asking everybody, you know, uh, what's the date? and you know, what day is it? Because, you know, they all kind of run together when you just, you know, get up, go to the ballpark, try to win that day, then go back home, get some rest, and come back the next day and try to win. So, you know, we got maximum seven days now, and hopefully it, it won't take seven seven games to win, hopefully. Uh, Ken in the middle. 
Dusty, congratulations. Thank you. You said you, uh, you inherited a, a good team, but yeah. you know, a good team with a, a unique, really unprecedented issue over its head. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it like to now to see these guys, you know, right. go through that to get back to Well, it means a lot. I mean, you know, I had some things over my head too. And so we had a lot in common, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, when you can identify with the people that you're, that you're with, no matter what age they are, you know, it's easier, to, you know, to get along and, uh, and identify with the struggles that they're, that they're going through. And, uh, you know, it's, I'm, like I said, I feel very, you know, fortunate to, you know, to have this group of guys and, and to be in this position to possibly win the World Series. Dusty, Dusty, with the way this series started, and you lose Lance before it starts, and then the way you lost games mm -hmm. two and three, how easy would it have been for this team to basically buckle under all that? Yeah, well, it probably would have been easy, but this is this is not this team. I mean, this team didn't do anything easy, and this team doesn't <clears throat> make any alibis or excuses. You know, I mean, you know, we we lost Jordan last year. Nobody. Uh, alibi or excuse, um, use it, that as an excuse. We lost Lance, you know, we lost a number of guys throughout the year, and these guys just, just keep on keep on trucking, you know what I mean? Like Eddie Kendrick used to think about it. This, uh, um, you know, like we lost George Springer. I mean, that was a big, big blow to this team. But, you know, some of the, and the young guys really, you know, picked us up. I mean, Without those young guys to to fill in around the the nucleus and the core of this team, you know, there's no way that you know we could have won it. And you can tell by the way, you know, we're rotating center fielders, and you know, you could tell by you know young Framber and young Garcia pitched the last couple of days. Uh, you know, they grew up before our eyes. Do two more quick ones because uh, Luis is here. Tyler, go ahead. A couple questions ago, from Ken's question, you you said. Um, when you came here, you know they had a lot hanging over them, and the, I think you said you had stuff hanging over you too. What did you mean by that? You gotta look it up. <laughs> well, what made you want? What made you want to take on this challenge then? Because you know, well, they, I love they, the game. Yeah. I mean, number one, I love the game. You know, there's a few things that I still hadn't hadn't accomplished. You know, you know, when I was in L.A., you know, they tried to when I was playing, they tried to say I was doing this and doing that and then when I got to different jobs they said that you know I heard mostly criticism you know um, you know you didn't do this or you you're not good at that or you you know you don't know how to use your bullpen or you don't like young players I mean I heard a whole bunch of stuff most of it not complimentary you know what I mean um, and uh, as African-American most of the time they don't really say that that you are of uh, certain um, intelligence, you know, that's not that's not a that's not a something that we usually get. And so I've been hearing a lot of this stuff most of my life. So <clears throat> that's what I'm in by. You know, I got a lot. Of, I had some stuff hanging over my head. And probably still, before I die, I had some more stuff hanging on my head. So it doesn't matter. It just it depends on how I feel about myself, how they feel about me, you know, and how the Lord feels about me, and. Uh, um, like I tell these guys, you don't have anything to prove or show anybody and only entities that you have to satisfy are God, family, and yourself. And then the other people can see you later. We'll finish up quickly in the first. Well, once again, it was just a, a complete and stunning, in a lot of ways, turnaround. From the eighth inning of game four of this ALCS on, Boston led two to one and led the series two games to one. And then the script flipped. 22 runs for the Astros, one run for the Red Sox, 345 batting average for Houston, 108 for Boston, and that's why the Astros are heading to the World Series and the Red Sox are heading home. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.